hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be looking at how you can display 3d models in your flutter app and we just need this package for this the model viewer plus package over here and if you install it there are some setups you need to do like you go into your android folder your app and in the build.gradle you set the minimum sdk to minimum sdk version to 19 also you go into your android the app the source the main and in your android manifest you add this line the android uses clear text traffic and you set it to true all right now that we are done with the setup you can install you can go ahead and run your app now and before we continue if you like to support the channel the support link in the description below support will be highly appreciated let's continue so yeah i don't have a designer and i can't use blender to generate 3d models but i have an app on my windows machine called the paint 3d i don't know about the ios one and as you can see this is a 3d model so just open your paint 3d go into your 3d library and it will bring out some 3d models that have been automatically generated for you you can see dinosaurs there are many more animals space dinosaurs and realistic so just set it here and when you are true ctrl s to save the model and you go press 3d model and when you do that you make sure it is saved as 3d dot glb so okay I've gotten my own model ready already and in my prospect the YAML file I have a folder images and there I have all my the model I want to use okay so in my center widget I'll have my child and here I'll have the model viewer it will require a source which will be a string so i'll just have my images using the dino and if i should or restart this now it takes a bit of time to load up all right and here you can see the 3d dinosaur i have over here now this looks pretty amazing if you want to use 3d models in your app there are also some features we can add. Let me try to add a background color to this background color. Now say colors dot red. And every time you make a change, you have to auto restart because it re-renders the model every time you make a change to it. So we have my background color here. If you have an animation. You can set autoplay to true mine is no animation so it won't be playing anything also auto rotate and set it to true and if i should auto restart now you can see it will start rotating by itself okay and you can see it's rotating all by itself also if your device support ar or even if it doesn't you can just set the ar mode and say true now if i auto restart again you see the ar button below the model okay i auto restarted And this is the AR button. If I press it, it opens in AR viewer. Close up the model. And here you can see the dinosaur we have in our app. So also you can just over over the model viewer here. Yeah. Check all the properties you can have. You have the alt poster, camera controls, touch action authorities and everything this is where i'll be stopping today guys if you enjoyed this video kindly subscribe to the channel also the 
source code will be available on github and i'll put the link in the description below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next lesson